we just had Diana's funeral, and I lose political power for that? Oh, rest in peace, Diana. Uh, we mourn you around the world, apparently. Um, okay, so I have set up my navy. Uh, I have Maybe set up my the airplanes. Navy. I have set up my spies. And I have set up my ground armies. So, in terms of military stuff, I'm 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 pretty sorted. I do need to start recruiting more though, but I only have 178k manpower, uh, which is a bit shit, uh, if I'm honest. So I need to look. But the thing is, I need this refugee crisis to happen so that I can start my national focuses. <laughs> Uh, and Research. then I'm sure I'll be able to get... Pardon? Research. Uh-oh. Research? Well-known Irish author and failed presidential candidate Sean McMillan has just released his much-anticipated alternate history thriller, Rising Eagle. The book explores an altered reality in which the United States came out spectacularly victorious in the Cold War. Ooh. Hmm. Tell me more! <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell me more! Okay, I'm just doing some research as well. Put some modern community. Oh, Rising Eagle Part 2. Yeah, I know. Uh, an interesting read, but not really that realistic. <laughs> yeah, no, whatever. It wouldn't have happened. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> so, what's the plan here, Sean? So, I, so I've been having a look. I, I, well, previously, I had a look through the focus trees. I've had a few playthroughs uh, in single player, and I thought yeah. what we could what we could look to do is um, become monarchies again and make the throne rise up uh, to its rightful place. Okay. Um, so, if for you, that would entail restoring the House of Windsor and okay. for Queen Liz to take over. I mean, it's 2010. She's going to be dead in, in, 12, in well, 12 years. Yes, well, she can see the, uh, the rise of the throne and then hand it over to her family. Uh, that's what we're going to say. And then... What I can do, I've got a couple of options to become a monarchy, so I could become <gasps> a holy moly moo. Oh my American goodness me! It's the it's the second of May attacks. <laughs> yeah, it's been attacked at the heart of its biggest city before nine in the morning. Hijacked aircraft sh from Chicago collided with Tower One of the NEC, bringing with it terrifying explosions, the, the, fire, the and debris. The, what did you say? The what? The NEC? Yeah. Collided the, with Tower 1 of the NEC. The, the, I'm just trying to work out what that is. Well, it would be one Any of the twin towers, surely. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good no. with, with, with American places. Stuff. Stuff. No, but yeah, so... Uh, the 2nd of May 2010 that happened uh, the People's Commonwealth oh. will never be the same no I imagine not um, um. but back to it thanks for, to America for interrupting us um, so yeah so I've got a couple of options I can either become a papal state so I could be ruled by the, the church and we could become uh, crusaders oh nice nice very nice or I could restore um, the uh, the um, the the royal family of Italy. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, the Yugoslavian president has passed away earlier this morning after Slob a heart uh, Slobodan Milosevic. Yeah, that's the one. Um, but yeah, or I can um, I can crown the king of Italy. Um, and uh, and reform everything, go to Paris, so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, so that's I've got a couple of options, and I've got a little bit of time to decide what to do yet. Um, Gorbachev Go has died. Mick so many Gorbachev. people are dying. Is I there know. some kind He's... of disease? Maybe a well, sort of if pandemic. You think about it, they were sort of in their fifties <coughs> in the eighties. Militia so leaders succeed Harold Covington. 
Tunisia declares oh independence. Crikey. What is so I haven't even looked at Africa. I haven't even looked at no, Africa. I Let's have a look. Uh, I've so, outdated equipment production. I'm going to slow it down a second. I mean, it looks more connected than it is now. What do you want on three? Yeah, just okay, like, um, it's so many pop-ups and so many boxes. I've got outdated guns, which isn't good. I've got research slots available. Uh, Decker. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's yeah. a trick again. Automated management is always the way to go. Oh, Tob uh, Tobruk has just declared ind independence from the Libyan oh. Union. Oh, right, okay. They just, okay. just popped up on the map. Yeah, yeah, just as you do, you know. Yeah. Why, why not? Uh, oh, there's actually some tiny states here. Rwanda is actually tiny now. Is it? Yeah, and Burundi is also tiny. Burundi? Yeah, but the where, Union where of the Congo finally unified. The Kingdom of Spain owns a very tiny little blob uh, by the Gabonese Republic. Oh, yeah, they own a port. Yeah, for some Equatorial reason. Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, I don't know why they own that, but... Um, oh, do uh, I own? Do I own? Do I own? Yes! You do own Gibraltar. No, the Falklands! Oh, Las Malvinas! Yeah. You're damn right. You've also got the Channel Islands. They're actually in this. Oh, are they? St. Peter's Port and St. Helia. The Razor has been completed. Oh, oh! Where's that been that built? Sounds cool. Oh, this has been a civil war in Libya. Just as I was talking, oh, I just I spoke that up, didn't I? You did, yeah. There's a big. Oh my god! There's so many How many of them? <laughs> ah, the 2010 There's Conservative more. leadership election. The Conservative Party hasn't held office since Prime Minister Owen's rise to power in 1989. In the decades passing, countless leadership elections have still failed it to result in a win for once. For the once powerful political party, and many members are seriously considering an official dissolution or even annexation by the Social Democratic Party. For now, however, leader Owen Patterson has responded to overwhelming calls for his resignation by announcing that leadership election shall be held as soon as possible. The question is, can he survive this battle? Or will someone else take his place? The options are Owen Patterson. Um, as seen in David Cameron's government, George Osborne. Oh. And previous leader of the Conservative Party in an alternate universe, Ian Duncan Smith. Ian Duncan Smith. I'm going to go with Duncan go Smith. With... You go with Duncan Smith. Crikey. I'm going Duncan Smith is now leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Oh, very nice. Yes. That's all a bit of you, odd, uh, isn't it? Uh, all of you people that live south of Birmingham, he's your guy now. It's a little bit odd, isn't it? Uh, for Duncan anyone who lives Smith. north of uh, Birmingham... Yeah, good uh, luck to you. <laughs> let's have a look. You've got the Labour Party, and you have Tony Benn right now. Oh, nice. Um, but you also have Independent Labour Party, which is uh, led by our good friend, uh, Jeremy Corbyn. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Libyans uh, flee the civil war. Oh, okay, here's the refugee crisis that I'm getting. Ah, you've been waiting so for this. I need lots of waves of refugees to come, and then I need to have uh, a crisis. I need to have a breakdown, basically. I can't take any more. <laughs> Just have a quick breakdown. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly just researching stuff that I can research right now. Resource yeah. gain efficiency plus 10%. What's this? I have 100% speed on this, though. Yeah, construction speed. Do it. Do it now. Right. I'm just forming a government. I've just uh, hired Ferdinando Sacchi as my... Ferdinando. Uh, Sorry. As Sorry. my industry minister. Uh, the Toyota War. Oh, okay. What happened in Libya? Collapse of, uh, well, it's, well, it's just oh, sort it's of broken. broken up. It's, it's very broken, broken. Yeah. Um, And I've also appointed Matteo Cassani as my second in command. Matteo, from that uh, show about the cloud. The, the, That's the, the one. Yeah, that Matteo. Oh, here we go. Hundreds of Libyan and Tunisian refugees have arrived in Sicily in the past week, plus 320. Oh, yes, I've just had that. Yeah, yeah. 
See, this is what's going to uh, cause the crisis. I'm just going to get lots of little waves like that. And, uh, and yeah, and then I'll be a little bit stuck. Uh, oh, we'll go decisive battle. Yeah, boy. Uh, picking them doctrines uh, or picking them generals early to make sure I get the experience I need to build good boats. That's what I'm trying to do. I'd like to go naval. Um, so let's have a look here. So what we're we going to do? Open borders, improved worker conditions. Ew, no, don't do that. Uh, recruitment campaign, encourage pacifism. Pacifism? Why would you want to do that? I thought you wanted brute force. No, 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 it's okay. Well, I think, uh, you know, Liz would want us to take a calm approach here in, in the good old United Kingdom. Yeah, don't cause too much bother. Uh, as she would probably say. Um, but... I Yeah, it's a bit quiet over in Italy at the moment. We don't actually have that much, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, but we are going to be quick to build up. That's, that's what I'm hoping, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering how to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, still, um, are, you still not, are you still not quite there, babe? <laughs> no, no, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's okay. I'm, I'm just uh, wondering how to like increase the popularity of a party for so when there's a next election. Because I don't know who this guy is. This is the perennial prime minister. I don't know. He doesn't have a party, so. Oh, I don't know. Hello everybody, it's Griff here. I decided to jump in and just to uh, to tell you how to um, boost party ideology because I was stupid enough not to research it before we started recording. So, it's really easy. All you do is take your spies from the La Resistance DLC. Uh, you put them in your home cities and you tell them to boost party ideology. It's that easy. And now back to the boy. Goodbye. Is the perennial Prime Minister like... A temporary thing? I think Maybe you have to do it through national focuses, which yeah. I know some of the United Kingdoms are time-locked. So I think the Queen Liz ones are time locked to like 2012 or something. Are there still a box? Um, it's not staying up for uh, long so enough for me to read it. President Napolitano's chief of staff has just briefed the head of state on the current refugee situation. Uh, in the past two weeks, almost ha uh, in the two what in the that you um you had you. You you could you do you wait two weeks and half. You can do it. Almost two thousand Libyans have crossed the Mediterranean into the region of Sicily, while initial reports from previous weeks suggested that residents had met refugees with open arms. The population is beginning to turn against them due to the unprecedented influx. Well, the president uh, is, however, unsure this is truly going to become a problem in the future. Uh, so he's just going to let them in for now and hope for the best. He's going to let them in and hope for the best. Why not? I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> no? <laughs> I mean, they're refugees. It's not like you can turn them away. Well, the, the people in Sicily seem to want to. Um... Because they are not happy in the slightest. Oh, there's been an attack in, uh, in Yemen. Yemen. The children yeah. of Yemen weep in pain. Boo. Um, oh, poor little children. Sad, isn't it? So, uh, Sean, the time has come for me to try and build a ship. Now, um, oh, okay. I, I always... here we go. So for, for our viewers that are not familiar with me playing this game, which a lot of you no. won't be, uh, I tend to play landlocked countries because I hate the Navy mechanic in this game. I will play it. <laughs> I'm slowly learning how to... <gasps> Hold that thought. Sean. Sean. What? What? My Prime Minister's just been assassinated. What? Prime Not Minister Duncan David Smith. Owen and his deputy, Shirley Williams, were hunting on the outskirts of Greater London when their Secret Service became aware of a possible threat. According to local officers, a suspicious black sedan. Very American. Yeah. We don't have sedans here in the uh, no. Great Britain. We have saloons. Saloons. Yeah. Uh, was parked at the fence line of these grounds with its owner seemingly gone for hours up to that point. With the service, in fact, more than 100 metres away from the pair, it became clear to them that the two most powerful politicians in Britain could be the targets of a possible assassination. Oh, no. 
Uh, before mm. anyone could come to their senses, the assassination, uh, the assassin had disappeared, and Owen lay motionless at, Sh uh, at Shelley Williams' feet. To the horror of British citizens, Royal London Hospital declared this afternoon that their beloved longtime leader had passed away. <gasps> oh my god. That's bad. Shirley Williams becomes the leader of the Liberal Party. Add Bloody Gordon Shirley Brown, which grants Williams. silent workhorse. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why Is not, he? I suppose. Um, why not? Um, well, while your president was, well, while your prime minister was being assassinated, I also <laughs> had a crisis. Meanwhile, there was crisis. Uh, a Bloody terribly crises. maintained uh, boat filled with refugees has sunk off the coast of Sardinia. A few hours ago, the countless Tunisians Go. who had originally departed from the peaceful but savagely unstable capital intended to reach the island without trouble. Ooh. A brief storm and strong winds shifted their vessel uncontrollably until the true damage Do you want to try that again? Apparent. Un yeah. Uncontroller what? Uncontrollably, until the true damage became apparent. As the ship burst and tilted, the refugees scrambled for their lives, including not just men, but women and children. The Italian Navy reached them far too late. And now the international community is seeing this footage live on TV. I think you what, the, Italian, the Italians saw it live on TV? Yeah, this will oh, surely play out terribly for our administration and their current policies. Oh, that's grim. Well, well, yeah, this isn't going well, is it? Can we're going to have a Can we're going to have to stop the boats. Oh, hang on. That Nope, nope, nope. Alternate timeline. <laughs> What? Alternate timeline. Alternate timeline. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god, it gets worse. Oh no, how could it possibly get worse? Was there puppies on the boat? No, across Italy's <laughs> extensive coast, thousands of Libyan refugees have crossed into our lands with little baggage. They oh, okay. made their way At across terribly. I know. They made their way across terribly dangerous seas that claimed the lives of many innocents just two days ago. But as more arrive from coast to coast and the sentiment of our people is beginning to sour. Uh oh. Gone now is the Italian people's outstretched arms hoping to integrate refugees into an inviting, prosperous society. Now they see an influx of people unwilling to adapt to our way of life, with only a few exceptions seen in the first Sicilian arrivals. So they're arriving everywhere now. It's not just Sicily. This is this is an emergency situation, guys. This, is this a Category Fifty Five emergency doomsday crisis? <laughs> this is a Category Fifty Five emergency doomsday crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Just uh, well, what what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna introduce some policy soon and some emergency legislation, uh, and we're gonna okay. stop the boat. You're gonna stop the boat. We're gonna stop the boat. Okay, Rishi. Um, my name's uh, my name's actually. Uh, Princip Taylor. Oh, my apologies. My apologies, Rishi. Uh, <coughs> there was some clashes in Milan. Oh. Why did you go? Oh, yeah, Mil yeah, Milan. That is Italy. Uh, Milan is in Italy, oh. yeah. Yep. I was thinking exactly the same thing, and then I thought. <laughs> Why are we so bad at geography? We play enough of this game. We should no know where stuff I was is. Thinking, I was thinking Milan was in Spain for some reason. Yes, exactly the same. Exactly I the no same. I have no idea why. We're so bad at this. We suck. Maybe we'll have to. Uh, maybe we'll have to have a geography lesson. Um, I can't help but notice that uh, uh, Shirley Williams here looks a little bit like Anne Widdicombe. Anne Widdicombe is in charge of your country, is she? Yeah, look, look a little bit like her. Let's have a look. Uh, where is she? Oh wow, yeah, a bit thinner. Yeah, a bit thinner. Is that the right? Did I get the right lady? 
Yeah, I got the right person, and right? I'd say, I'd say, kind of. Okay, I need to pause it because we have a choice. Oh. Oh, Ethiopia's requested aid. We can pitch in. Oh yeah, we can pitch in too. Apparently, I didn't have uh, any other choice, but. <laughs> so we are waiting at the moment. Uh, I think. Can we do what this? For? Don't meet the requirements. What are we waiting for? Oh, I think we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting for the Queen to dissolve Parliament, I think. Hi everyone, you've made it this far, so you might as well leave us a comment and uh, let us know what you think is going to happen next. Will the Queen storm Parliament, or will she just, like, do whatever she wants because she's the Queen? Love you, bye!